I see you really being able to manifest, okay? Being able to manifest a lot more financial resources. This is the Eight of Coins. And the Eight of Coins is work, working very diligently at your craft. This is kind of like the magician in the making. This is somebody who, um, you know, makes a living with the things that they say, okay? Uh, I usually think of it as a card, like a, a salesman. But uh, salesmanship, I feel like it has a... Um, a negative or like a sleazy connotation is somebody who talks and makes a living by talking but I feel like in this capacity it's somebody who works really hard who takes really good care of their clients they make sure that you know uh, customer satisfaction is like their priority and because of that a lot of people trust them a lot of people can leave um, give them a lot of responsibilities and know that at the end of the day that you guys Capricorns will be able to handle yourself um, for those of you who have have like uh, who are working underneath somebody I do sense that they're entrusting you with a lot more responsibility when they have to take a work um, a work trip they leave you in charge when they have to go on vacation they leave everything in your control because they trust you and they trust that you won't abuse your power and they trust that you have the skills the competencies to troubleshoot and that the office the work situation will not go up in flames if they're not there so I do feel a um, tremendous amount of trust coming through from your superiors coming through from the people around you coming through from your environment because you have shown yourself to be hardworking, to be diligent to be really meticulous with the work that you do and you put a lot of emphasis on like you know do getting a job done but doing it also very well okay um so those are really positive things okay so I, I see that snake you know it's getting longer and longer and longer and what it means is that your reputation is really building you've created a lot of um, I want to say like really good karma for yourself you're also in a position where I do sense that a lot of people are entrusting you with big um, bigger things um, more responsibilities it doesn't mean the work is piling up and you're inundated I don't feel that I just feel like they're giving you more more complex tasks to perform and they're also you know if in the past they have been kind of hovering over you making sure you're doing such and such you know well or making sure you're doing it in the way that they want now they're kind of backing off and giving you your space so that you can make it your own so that you can do whatever you feel is necessary as long as the, the work gets done so I do see a great degree of trust between other people and especially superiors okay um, your reputation is really building in a very positive way and then I also feel like just your professional life in general with the Sun here this is about warmth abundance recognition getting a lot of um, positive um, attention you know kind of like beaming with positive attention and attracting a lot of good things coming your way as it relates to the professional environment so you have some wonderful things coming through um, when I saw the, 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 the snake coiling on itself, I was thinking about, you know, making sure that you don't get in your own way. Okay. And, uh, some of the, the key words that came out here was about risk aversion. Okay. Not taking risk. Um, I mentioned before, I feel that for many of you, the past five years have not been easy. It was not easy being a Capricorn. And um, I, I feel that, you know, you were like right on the, like five years ago, you were like a, subsisting, okay? Whatever you made, it goes towards bills. It went towards bills. And so you weren't in a position where you had money left over to invest, to buy yourself nice things, to buy nice things for the, the people that you love, and to take vacation, to, you know... Um, um, get out of you know financial dire strait or financial hardships for some of you but I, I feel like it, it wasn't exactly financial hardship it was just that you had to be thrifty with money and then I also feel that for many of you there were a lot of 
uh, a lot there was a lot of work a lot of responsibilities and your time was also very limited and so you're making money but you might not be able to spend it you might not have the time you might have for others of you you might not have the resources is in your financial circumstance where you're earning more you're making more you're able to plan you're able to like um save up and and take that dream vacation for many of you being able to you know um call in at a moment's notice and just be like you know what i don't feel like going to work today i feel like taking a mental health day and going to the beach i feel that you're giving yourself a lot more freedom to really live your life and also to enjoy it thoroughly because at this point you know what really matters to you you know that mental health is important you know that you can't work yourself to the ground you know that being in an environment where you are well respected where you are um trusted matters a lot more okay so i feel that the energy is really easing up for you and i also feel that you're uh, no longer you know getting in your own way no longer operating from that space of like lack no longer letting fears hold you back and no longer uh feeling either tied to or indebted to anybody because you are coming into your own sense that you know I made it. I got myself here. It was my own skills and capabilities that got me here. Nobody, you know, so this is not coming through in a spirit of like um um arrogance, okay? This is not what it's about, but I do sense that for many of you you felt almost like indebted to a work situation. You know, it's like um oh, they hired me when none of the other places hired me. So I want to stay here. I want to be loyal to this company. I feel like they hired you because, you know, you did great on the job interview. They also like the way that you work. They like the way that you explain yourself. They like the way in which you you behave and, and, and they just like the person that you are. So they hired you for their own personal reasons and a lot of it has to do with they believe in your com uh, competence and so you're not indebted to anybody so many of you might have felt indebted to a workplace to a boss to a supervisor to a um a situation and you might have you know turned down a lot of other really good offers just to remain loyal to this one organization place boss supervisor place and i feel that that was you know one of the ways in which you might have gotten in your own way in the past okay and then i also feel like there might have been a lot of opportunities to explore greener pastures that you passed down because you know you might have been afraid so i do feel like in the past and you know the two cards are coming out first where there was a lot of lack of movement and a lot of hesitation from your end a lot of looking on looking at what other people are doing but feeling like you are tied to this situation to this place to this thing to this job and wanting a lot more okay so i feel that this is one of the instances in which you know you kept your life in suspension not really making a move waiting for things to happen to you rather than going out manifesting grabbing opportunities and proactively really living your life and enjoying your life and living your life almost as if i'm not indebted to anybody you know um it's it's kind of like the the affirmation that i work really hard i deserve these things it's okay for me to enjoy myself every once in a while it's okay for me to say that i want to call out sick today i don't feel like going to work and not have to feel guilty and not have to fear like oh no am i going to lose my job okay so you're in a really good space thank god coming through for the month of january where you know where you stand where you know that you matter and where you are fully capable and aware of uh what your skills are and that you are almost like a um i want to say indispensable asset okay no one's getting rid of you because they understand you have some major skills 
major, major skills. If you were not aware of this Capricorn in the past, you're being made aware of it right now. You have major skills. You can make magic happen. You're the person that they call judgment, contact, communication. You're the person that they call whenever things go awry. You're the kind of like the, the, the SWAT team, you know, like the, the first line of defense when something goes wrong, when they need specialists, when they need, you know, experts, you're kind of like the, the, the troubleshooter, the person that is the first line of defense because you have the skills. And so you're very indispensable here in this major environment for some of you too. I feel like this could play out in the relationship sector where somebody is being very, is being made aware of how special and unique you are. I mean, I, I feel like they, they felt it before, but they might have also felt that like, oh, I could find that elsewhere. But I do feel for the month of January, your energy is coming in so strongly where not only are you made aware of it, you know, you're coming into your own, but the person that you're dealing with, I feel that they're made aware that they can't, you know, the, the quality of their life would dramatically diminish as a result of you not being there. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm getting the energies of somebody around you who is trying to make some type of a major move. Okay. Um, I feel like they're either making some type of a living arrangement change or some type of a major move in their career. And they're holding everything very tightly to their chest, okay? I have here the Seven of Swords, okay? So this is like doing something in the darkness of the night, not wanting to, to reveal things, keeping everything kind of like under wraps, okay? Literally under wraps, keeping communications very hush-hush, keeping our plans to ourselves, not ourselves, not showing other people our cards. I feel like you have somebody in your midst who is doing this and they're soon going to be reaching out to you and revealing everything that they have planned. And I feel for some of you, this might be a relationship partner. This might be a partner in a firm. This might be like a somebody that you're very close to in the work environment. And I do feel like they've got some... Um, I'm sensing that, you know, they, they, they've got something in mind and they want to propose it to you. So for example, if somebody is, you know, thinking about like, if, if they've been talking about starting their own company, I feel like they want you on board to, uh, to share that venture with them. They might have a position in mind for you to, to slide into, they might have a proposal in my, for you to look through. They might have a position lined up for you or on the offing for you. And then I also feel for many of you, um, um, you have some major plans with a significant other and many of you are keeping things under wraps. You don't want to tell your family members. You don't want to tell your friends. Maybe your family members have been, you know, constantly uh, doubting you or, you know, they, they were like naysayers. They were also very risk averse and they are just like, oh, that's never going to work. That's too risky. You don't want to do that. You know, scrap those plans. And honestly, it's just not their place, okay? And I feel like they are, they, they mean well. It's not like they're there to tear apart your plans or your dreams and your ideals. I feel that they lack imagination and whatever appears really out of the box or very um, out of the norm for them scares them. So they're speaking to you and giving you advice from a place of, you know, protectionism from a place of like risk aversion, from a place of, you know, just lacking imagination and, and not being able to understand how things, how you can pull things off. So I feel like they might not be the appropriate people to ask advice. And I, I do sense there's a lot of things here that indicates to me that uh, they're giving you advice unsolicited either way. Okay. So it's not like they're doing it out of, um, ill will. I just feel like they're, they, 
They don't like people to rock the boat. They don't want you to think outside the box. And I feel there's a lot of energies here about you thinking outside the box, um, creative problem solving, planning really, really far ahead and getting yourself out of situations and especially not getting in your own way when you want things to happen for you. Okay. What we have next here is the Wheel of Fortune. And this is like the best card in the deck okay it basically signals to me that the time is here the time is now for the wheel of fortune to be turning in um i i feel like it's sort of like the um so let, let's look at you know the i'm getting that image of like um cogs in a in a machine okay all the pieces have to be in place and all the cogs start turning and then the big machine turns. Um, I feel like for the past few months, there has been a wrench in the works. Okay. So just imagine a wrench thrown in and wedging in between those two cogs. Okay. A big cog and a small one is wedged in and none of them are able to budge. So it seems as if for the past few months, you were trying to push for to get things in motion and i feel like this is in your professional life and then i also feel like in your personal life moving um getting you know like sending out resumes and things like that uh setting out pieces of yourself and waiting for a response waiting for feedback waiting for something to come back in something concrete and something solid so there's a lot of waiting that I'm seeing here for the past few months and it just feels like there was a wrench in the works it jammed up the the, the cogs it jammed up the machine and nothing is really moving things were just kind of like buzzing but not really moving the gears are grinding and it was uncomfortable and there was like screeching and it was just like a state of limbo and it was uncomfortable I feel for the month of January, you have some wonderful things coming in that will clear up that log jam. It will, you know, kind of like remove the wrench in the works. It will get all the gears turning in the right motion so that the big engine can start producing. So that in the, I, I just feel like, you know, so that the whole machinery, all the moving parts can move forward. That's what it feels like to me. So something big is finally being delivered. And I feel for many of you, you're getting some positive good news here with the judgment card. News communication that you have been waiting on. Um, and I feel like the, the timing is, is very rushed. Okay. So here's another thing that I want you to be uh, cognizant about. Whenever we are divinely guided to do something, okay, all we have to do is put one foot in front of the other, do the first thing that we're expected to do. It's kind of like um, a snowball effect. We start to move things along and then things kind of like take on a life of their own. And then everything, events, timelines, accelerate and everything happens very, very quickly. That's when you know you're on the right path. Because I feel like you're getting news, communication, information, and like resolutions and, and decisions coming in really, 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 really fast. And you're just like, ah, uh, I'm not really sure if I'm ready. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure if I want to do it now. And I feel like the universe is telling you the time is now. You know, you've wanted this for so long. You did your part and now we're doing their, um, we're doing ours. And because of that, your timeline is being, I, I feel like you're being propelled into a timeline that where things happen really fast. Okay. And so I feel that there might be a phone call. There might be an email. There might be like some type of communication, even snail mail, some type of contact here that sets things into motion. And I feel that you're doing this under the radar. You're doing this behind the scenes and you're doing this without drawing attention to yourself. And you're trying to do, do this in a very stealthy manner so that other people are not aware of what you're doing. And then I also feel 
there is a person in your life that you're going to run some ideas by. Okay, this is someone who is very intelligent. They show up here as the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is somebody who is, uh, they give really great legal advice. They give really great advice in general. They see things in a very binary way. You know, um, they're, they're incredibly intelligent. They know how to troubleshoot. Whenever you have, you know, problems, they're your person. They're your go-to tr troubleshooter. I feel that this person is coming into the picture and they're showing you a, a way out of a situation. It's like how to gracefully exit a situation without, you know, by leaving things intact. So I do feel there's a person here that you greatly admire for their intelligence and you're going to be conversing back and forth a lot with them. Conversations are very hush-hush under the radar. It's almost as if you don't want people to know your plans, but you're confiding in this person so they are aware of your plans and they're giving you advice and feedback as to when the best time to do something. 